when the football team ran onto the field, comma, they carried their helmets. All right, this is how we have to write. You have to begin your sentences with subordinating conjunction. And when the sentence is beginning with a subordinating conjunction, in order to separate the two clauses, which means sentences, you have to put a comma right after the first sentence is over. Got it, Ekam? Now, I want um, Shivansh. Would you like to try next? Hi, Kian. Emma wants to go to the music camp. She has to save her birthday money. You, no, have, to, okay. you have to join the sentences, convert it into a complex sentence, and you have to begin with a subordinating conjunction. Okay? Try. Can I say? Ma'am, ma can I say? Who is it? Ekam. Can I say? First Shivansh and then if he doesn't, then you can try. All right, we'll give Shivansh his turn. Try Shivansh. Mama, I will start it with if. Okay, great. If Emma wants to go to music camp. Comma. Comma. Because that's the end of the first sentence, right? Comma. But since you're... You have to save her birthday money. Great. Very good. Next, I want Tamira to join. I was five. I slept with a stuffed animal. Mom. You have to join the sentence. Mom, Begin can I come say? After uh, Samira, next question will be Ekams. Okay, come. Yes, Samira. Oh, question good. number three. Come after It is four. Question number four. Three. When I was five, I slept with the stuffed stuffed elephant. When I was five, ke baad comma lagana bohot zaruri hai. Okay, Samira, good job. Next is Akam. Akam uh, number four. Although Jacob Jacob likes to camp, comma he does not like to get dirty. He does not like getting dirty, okay? Don't change the tense here, okay? Don't try to add infinitive participle gerund. Jaisa hai, waisa hi copy. I karin. read the sentence. No problem. Your question, your answer was correct. Next is Anvika's turn. Mom, I'm sorry, I don't have the worksheet. Can I say the sentence? I am sharing the sentence, bitter. It's on the screen. Question number five. Okay, so we are going to give someone else this turn. Ayantika, would you like to go? Question number five. There was a storm last night. There was little rain on the ground today. You have to join them. Although there was a storm last night, there was, comma, there was little rain on the ground. Very good. Next, Anvika, are you ready? Anvika, are you ready, beta? Okay. Kian, question number six. Okay. Kian, shall Please, I pass? Mama, can't you screen? Uh, you aren't presenting, I guess. Everyone is reading, Anvika. There must be some problem at your end. Kian, go ahead. When Tom fell off the bike, he, lo comma, he learned that racing bikes can be dangerous. When Tom fell off the bike, comma, he learned that racing yeah. bikes can be dangerous. Correct. Okay. okay. So this Mama, is... I also how thought about that. That's good. Very good, Shivansh. So, you know, generally, if we join the sentences, we will put the subordinating conjunction in between. Tom fell off the bike. No. He When he learned that, how am I going to uh, join these sentences? Tom learned that racing bikes can be dangerous when he fell off the bike. Hena? Right? And that's how Kian said, when Tom fell off the bike, comma, he learned that racing bikes can be dangerous. So if the subordinating conjunction is coming in between the two sentences, we will not use comma. Okay? Got it? Secondly, tell me what is the main... Ekam, stop playing with the curtains. 
um, tell me which is the main clause and which is the subordinating clause here. Let me write it. When Tom fell off the bike, is off the bike. When Tom fell off the bike, this is one way of writing. So I will write the comma. He learned that racing bikes can be dangerous. Now tell me. When Tom fell, when Tom fell off the bike is the main clause and he learned that racing bikes can be dangerous is the subordinate clause. Who is saying this? Ma'am, me. Ma me. I, I think it's okay. Me, beta, con hai because there are so many children. Ma'am, Shivansh. Achha, Shivansh, it is wrong. Kian, what do you say? Hmm? I'll tell you why. There's a very simple thing. I, I say when Tom fell off the bike is the, um, it's the subordinating clause. Subordinate clause. Hmm. And he learned that racing bikes can be dangerous is the main clause. Now, very simple way of identifying which is main and which is uh, the subordinate is Shivansh. As the name says, subordinate clause, it should begin with a subordinating conjunction. Okay? If there is a sentence in that sentence, it means that it is a subordinate clause. And the second one is, he learned that racing bikes can be dangerous. It's the main clause because it's free of any conjunctions. Okay? Great? Okay. Next, uh, do you want to practice more? More? Shall we practice more? Um, yes. Yes or no? Yes or no, children? Yes, I think we should practice one more so that you are completely clear of this concept. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, um, have a look at this exercise three children. Everybody, okay? You have to combine these set of simple sentences into one compound sentence. Compound sentence ko hum combine karenge. To hum conjunctions use karenge, right? कभी भी कोई भी सेंटेंस को कंबाइन करना होता है तो कंजंक्शंस यूज करना पड़ता है करेक्ट एक हम यस मैम बट अगर मैं बोल रही हूं कंपाउंड सेंटेंस है तो क्या मैं कोई भी कंजंक्शंस यूज करूंगी कि स्पेसिफिक कंजंक्शंस है कंपाउंड के लिए स्पेसिफिक कौन सा कौन सा वाला कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कोऑर्डिनेटिंग वेरी गुड एंड कोऑर्डिनेटिंग इज आल्सो नोन एज हाउ डू यू हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर कि ये कोऑर्डिनेटिंग है हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर Fanboys. Fanboy. Fanboy. So now, chalo, one by one, everybody is going to give me the answer. Fanboys ka S is what? So. Okay. So, chalo. So. Pehla, pehla. Pehla so, option. So. First, I want to give uh, who I am thinking, okay? He first answer first question combine the sentences. One second, can I? I will tell you. He worked very hard. His health broke down. You have to join the sentence. Shivan, shall I tell you? One. Hmm. Hurry up. Very hard, so his health broke. He worked very hard, so his health broke down. Is it what you said, Ayantika? Okay. Now, children, listen. I am writing something very important, okay? And iske baad I'll give everybody the chance and you have to not miss your comma. What I'm trying to say, Sam Samaira, when to use comma. Ekam, when to use comma. Okay, Kiara, everyone, focus. When I am using a subordinating conjunction, you know when to use the comma, right? We use the comma only like if the sentence is starting with when I was six, comma, I loved Maggie. Okay? Full stop. Hmm? We still love Maggie. Yeah. So when I was six, comma, I loved Maggie. Please pay attention to where am I using the comma with subordinating conjunction. There is another way to write this. I loved Maggie when I was six. Will be correct, Anna? 
I loved Maggie when I was six. Pay attention to the position of subordinating conjunction. Yahan par wo begin kar raha hai when se aur yahan par ye beech mein hai. So, why ma'am are you teaching me both the ways to place the conjunctions? Meri baat samaj mein aai? Yes, Ayantika, tell me why. Coordinating. Nahi, because... ओनली रीजन आई एम टीचिंग यू वाई वी शुड नो बोथ द वेज इज वेन वी आर एडिटिंग द सेंटेंसेज एंड देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोनाउंस आई 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 एंड आई वॉन्ट टू रीप्लेस दैट है ना अभी भी देखो मेरा सेंटेंस आई से स्टार्ट हो रहा है बट मैंने एडिटिंग में बताई है कि प्रोनाउंस को स्किप करो यू कैन एड एडवर्ब एक्सेट्रा इसीलिए बिगनिंग अ सेंटेंस विथ वेन इज बेटर दैन आई समझ में आया दैट इज वाई सब ऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन से अगर आप स्टार्ट करोगे तो यहाँ पर कॉमा देना जरूरी है वेर एज अगर वो दो सेंटेंस के बीच में है सी आई हैव नॉट प्लेस्ड एनी कॉमा देखो आई यू पेइंग अटेंशन so this was the case of subordinating conjunction okay shivansh but agar main coordinating conjunctions use kar rahi hu tab mujhe comma dena padega let me write ayantika sentence okay i am going to erase this okay he sorry he worked very hard so his health broke down theek hai yahan par comma lagega pata hai kahan just before the coordinating conjunction because ye mera ek sentence khatam hua aur yahan se mera dusra sentence start ho raha hai right so jaise as soon as your first sentence gets over immediately put a comma kyunki yahan par to फुल स्टॉप था ना ओके सो आई आस्क यू समथिंग व्हाट इज द मेन क्लॉज हियर एंड व्हाट इज द कोऑर्डिनेटिंग क्लॉज हियर नाउ नाउ लिसन मैम इज बीइंग मैम ही वर्क्ड वेरी हार्ड इज द मेन क्लॉज हिज हेल्थ ब्रोक डाउन इन द बॉडी नाउ जनरली कंपाउंड सेंटेंस में बोथ द क्लॉजेस आर मेन क्लॉज राइट बिकॉज़ दे स्टैंड ऑन देयर ओन ये मैंने समझाया है कंपाउंड सेंटेंसेस में दोनों क्लॉजेस मेन क्लॉज रहेंगे यस शिवांश ठीक है बट अगर क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है बताओ कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज कौन सा है तो जिसमें कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन लगा हुआ है वो कोऑर्डिनेटिंग क्लॉज है करेक्ट वेरी सिंपल नाउ नेक्स्ट इज शिवांश इज टर्न कम इन टू द गार्डन पिक सम फ्लावर्स हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू कंबाइन दीज सेंटेंसेस Mama, I'll use come into the garden, comma, and pick some flowers. Very good, excellent. Now, हमारे को हमेशा बोला जाता है कि and के पहले comma नहीं लगता है. Shivansh, Ayantika, Samaira, Anvika, Ayantika. You know we can all see you resting on on the couch. Yeah, sit straight. And के पहले comma नहीं लगता है, but यहाँ पर comma लगा है. Why? See, uh, ma'am, because we are joining two sentences. Yes, because we are joining two sentences exactly. And agar we are joining different nouns or adjectives, like say apples, mangoes, and bananas, right? They are all nouns. Ab mujhe batao. Yaha par and hai na join kar rahe saare nouns ko. Everybody, please pay attention. Yaha par Kiara is going to answer. Where will I put the comma? Ma'am, between apples and mangoes. Shall I put one here? Oh, no, ma'am. No, between, never. Between okay. apples and mangoes. Between. But if there would have been two clauses, तब यहाँ पर लग जाता था, right? Yeah. 
Right. Got it? Confusion solved. Next is Anvika's turn. He is poor, he is honest, he is respected. Three sentences. How are you going to join them? And see, listen children, that is why I was teaching you editing. Again, I am pointing it out. Kitta simple sentence na ye? He, 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 he. We are talking about one person and humne usko describe yeah. karne ke, wait, humne usko describe karne ke liye three sentences use kar diye. We should have used just one. I'm not going to write with this one. Anvika ka turn hai, beta. Anvika, go ahead. But you can type it in the chat box. Kian, whoever wants to say, they can type the answer in the chat box. I can check your work. Bolo. He is poor, honest, and respected. No. Same. Same. Ma'am, there would be con comma between poor and honest. Yeah. Achha. Achha. Okay. Yes, poor, comma, honest, and respected. Achha. I am not I am not happy with this answer. I feel there is another way. Yeah. There's someone who has written a very nice answer. Let me see who is this. Samaira Likhi hai. Samaira H is aapne correct likha hai. Ma'am, it can be. Ma'am, it can be his poor. But honest and respected. Yeah, exactly. That's what Samira wanted to say. See, all sometimes when you are poor or when, when someone is rich, you know, they have a certain temperament. They have a certain personality trait. And if they are not what you expect, then you will say, Although he is poor, he is honest and respected. Now, I have although use it, it's a complex sentence. Hai. Question ne kya bola tha compound. So, pehle hi mujhe ek laddu milega. One, Bye. zero. Right? Agree? So, now, instead of that, I'm going to write, he is poor, but honest and respected. Don't even say, yes, Shivansh, correct. Don't even write it like, he is poor, but he is honest and respected. Jitna kam se kam words use karoge. Don't repeat he is. Understood? Next. Who wants to go next? Next is Ekam. Would you like to try? Shivansh, you have turn. Ho gaya na, abhi? I don't know. I go first. I would try. Try. Baki log answer likho niche. Wise men love truth, comma, but fools shun it. Very good. Very good. So Would I'm glad. You shun it. Shun it means they don't obey it. They don't follow it. This is something that I can in kya bolte hai? inter wait interpret from the sentence. Okay, this is something that I can interpret from the sentence, but I exactly don't know what is the meaning of uh, shun. So I'm going to Google and tell you if I interpreted it right or wrong. Shun, shun, shun. Shun. Avoid. Okay? And what did I say? Something like same, right? Did not obey. Yes, A person doesn't obey. obey. Yes, yeah, so that is the same thing. Chalo. Um, kya karenge, batao. What do you want to do next? Ma'am, the book reading which you sent. Chalo. Let's start with book reading. Everyone is excited? Ma'am, can I open which PDF I have? Yeah, so you can read from there. Okay. Everyone can follow either from my screen or from their screen. Whatever is convenient. I'm going to go pretty fast here. So be a good listener. The only reason I'm taking this book is we will identify children. Now, listen. Why does Avni ma'am or Avni auntie read books in between? Because we try to see how authors are writing so that we can learn from their writing style and copy it when the teacher gives us at school. We will not write like he's a boy, he was five-year-old. No, 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 no. We are going to make more compound or complex sentences. Yes, Ayantika. Understood? So, 
now that we know all these terminologies, now that we know the concept, don't you think we can appreciate the book more? और मजा आएगा ना बुक पढ़ने में क्योंकि अब तो आपको पता है सिंपल क्या होता है कंपाउंड क्या होता है बहुत सारे वर्ड मीनिंग्स भी पता है सो आई विल गिव यू दिस टास्क ऑफ बीइंग अ डिटेक्टिव टुडे ईच वन ऑफ यू हैव बीन असाइंड दिस टास्क ऑफ बीइंग अ डिटेक्टिव एंड यू हैव टू टाइप इट इन द चैट बॉक्स एज सुन एज विच एवर सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्ड यू कम अक्रॉस सिंपल दिख रहा है सिंपल कंपाउंड दिख रहा है कंपाउंड कॉम्प्लेक्स दिख रहा है कॉम्प्लेक्स आपको अगर सब ऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन दिख रहे हैं सेंटेंस ठीक है ऑल राइट सो लेट्स प्ले दिस गेम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एग्जैक्टली मैम आस्किंग यू टू डू एक्साइटेड सब एवरीथिंग वी विल डिस्कस वाइल डूइंग द क्लास डोंट डू एनीथिंग जस्ट बी अ गुड लिस्नर ओके कियान दिस इज अ क्लासिक story which means the story of winnie the pooh we've been hearing even during my days when i was as little as you guys and even my parents used to you know watch movies on uh, winnie the pooh depends where we were born and raised mm -hmm. so the author's name is a a milne and uh, the decorations here means illustration see another way of writing illustrations is decorations which is by e h shepherd All right. Now, let's start. Always, whenever a book has been written, uh, the author tries to dedicate it to someone. You gave me Christopher Robin, and then you breathed, you breathed, you breathed. New life in Pooh. Whatever of each has left my pen goes homing back to you. My book is ready and comes to greet. Listen, my book is ready. के बाद कॉमा आया और वहाँ पर एंड है. कंपाउंड है ना सेंटेंस देखो यस नाउ यू विल नो राइट एंड के पहले भी कॉम आता है बट डिपेंड करता है कहा माय बुक इज रेडी एंड कम्स टू ग्रीट द मदर इट लॉन्ग्स टू सी इट वुड बी माय प्रेजेंट टू यू माय स्वीट इफ इट वरेंट योर गिफ्ट टू मी नाउ व्हाट डू यू थिंक हुम इज द ऑथर डेडिकेटिंग दिस बुक टू टाइप इट इन द चैट बॉक्स आई हेव रेड इट If you were dreaming, you would not be able to answer. What do you think? The Mama. Yes. Can I go to the washroom? Okay, are you? Chalo. Or cheat cheating? Nee karna hai. Sab ke answers copy karna hai. Chat box se bhi to answer dikhta hai, right? All right. So this book, the author A. A. Mill has dedicated to his mother. Very good. Fantastic. Did he directly write it? I am dedicating it to my mother. नहीं. उन्होंने क्या किया है उन्होंने एक रिडल बनाया है राइट दिस इज अनादर ब्यूटिफुल वे ऑफ राइटिंग दे आर नॉट डायरेक्टली राइटिंग इट दे हैव बिल्ट अ रिडल आउट ऑफ इट और आप पहचानो बूझो तो जाने ओके नेक्स्ट कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन जनरली अ बुक हैज वॉट किड्स ये समायर आई कुड रीड योर लिप ऑल दो यू आर ऑन म्यूट करेक्ट Let us wait other children for Ma, other children. Can I say? Yes. Introduction. Yeah. Hi, Naisha. Did you just join? Okay. We've just started the book. Okay. Ha. Huh. We've done the revision of uh, simple compound, complex, main clauses, subordinating conjunction. You can watch the video. पहले इसके पहले के दस मिनट आप देख लेना. Since it's a recording recorded session. Okay. So generally, contradiction is an instead of contradiction we have introduction correct correct all right so let's read this story we will wait for ma'am ayantika also to come but i am going to read it aloud contradiction an introduction is to introduce people comma but christopher robin and his friends comma who have already been introduced to you Are now going to say goodbye. ठीक है अभी यहाँ पर बहुत सारे जगह कॉमा का बहुत सारे जगह का कॉमा प्लेसमेंट है सम एट वन पॉइंट देर इज कंपाउंड एट दी अदर पॉइंट यू नो देर इज अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो सो लुक वॉट आई हैव आइडेंटिफाइड पे अटेंशन टू दिस An introduction is to introduce people. This is definitely one sentence. And यहाँ पर but है तो ये एक compound 
कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन के कारण पहला कॉमा है बट क्रिस्टोफर रॉबिन्स एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स कॉमा ये जो एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स है ना उसको डिस्क्राइब कर रहा है हु हैव ऑलरेडी बीन इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू इसलिए यहां पर ये जो डब्ल्यू एच ओ है इट्स अ रिलेटिव क्लॉज विच आई हैव नॉट एक्सप्लेन यू ठीक है बट अगेन इट सिंस इट्स अनदर सेंटेंस देर इज अ कॉमा आर नाउ गोइंग टू से गुड बाय सो दिस इज दिट वाई डू दिस इट्स द ऑपोजिट कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन मतलब मैं जो बोल रही हूँ वो उल्टा होता है आई कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट I say one should sleep early, but when it comes to me following this habit, I I sleep late. I am a night owl. I am a night. No, I am a night owl. Night owl is a person who stays awake till midnight. A early riser is a person who wakes up before sunrise. Samaira, बोल रही है मैं क्या हूँ पता नहीं. हाँ Samaira आप क्या हो बेटा? <laughs> right now you go to school, so you are all early risers. Okay, चलो. Hmm. So since it is the opposite, generally when we start a story, we introduce the characters. But here, so characters are you by bold? So don't you think it's contradicting? Ulta ho raha na yahan par. Isiliye yahan par likha hai. So this is the opposite. When we asked Pooh what the opposite of an introduction was, he said the what of a what? Because if you have watched Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh is a very very Dumb character. He doesn't understand things, and he is so foolish. I think he's such, but still he's a very cute little bear. Now, now the what of a what, which didn't help us as much as we had hoped, because we were looking for an answer. But luckily, they go. But ke pehle comma fir se aaya. Compound sentence hai. ठीक है. But luckily, follow, follow, follow. But luckily. Owl kept his head and told us that the opposite of an introduction, my dear Pooh, was a contradiction. And as he is very good at long words, I am sure that that's what is. Who do you think is good at long words? Yes, Amira, good job. Who do you think is good owl. at the owl? Mommy. Very good, children. Owl. owl is very good at the words. Um, Now. Owl. You know what, Samaya? What happened? See, everyone knows that I am very good at reading the lips, right? Even if someone is on mute, I can read this. Correct. So, um, during New Year's Eve, we were playing these games with my friends. You know, all, all, elderly people, right? And they had this uh, game of putting the headphones, and I am saying something, and the person in front has to read the lips. I know that you know I'm very good at it. So what I did, I made my husband wear the headphones. No, no, I was wearing the headphones, and I asked my husband to speak, and I could easily read whatever he was saying. Get, getting my point because I couldn't hear. I'm wearing noise cancellation device. समझ में आया? चलो, coming back to the text. <laughs> Out of context. why we are having a contradiction is because last week when christopher robin said to me what about that story you were going to tell me about what happened to poo when i happened to say very quickly what about 900 what about 9 times 107 chalo maths ka question pucha hai 9 times 107 is what my friend Nine sixty-three. I'm so quick just because of you guys. Nine times one hundred and seven is what? Hello, guys. You have to be mathematical. Nine sixty-three. How many of you have copied me? Ma'am, I have not. I have solved it. I know Ekam will not copy. Now, and when we had done that one, we had one about cows going through a gate at two a minute. Okay, and there are three hundred in the field. So per minute, two cows are leaving the gate, and how many uh, cows are there in the field? Three hundred. Now these are all nonsense. इसमें कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है कि हो क्या रहा है. Just talking, you know. When we talk, we just talk. Hmm. We find these very exciting, and when we have been excited quite enough, we curl up and we go to sleep. And Pooh, comma, sitting wakeful. 
sitting wakeful a little longer on his chair by our pillow, thinks grand thoughts. Think grand thoughts. Where is my, why is my page not? Wait. Okay. To himself about nothing until he to closes his eyes and nods his head and follows us on tiptoe into the forest. There still we have magic adventures more wonderful than any I have told you about. But now when we wake up in the morning, they are gone before we can catch hold of them. How did the last one begin? One day when Pooh was walking in the forest, there were 107 cows on a gate. Okay, 107 times 107 times 9, right? Now, no, you see, we've lost it. It was the best, I think. Well, here are some of the other ones, all that we shall remember now. But of course, it isn't really. Goodbye, because the forest will always be there. And anybody who is friendly with the bears can find it. Now, A. A. Milne, the author, has just written it like that. Okay? How kids talk? Kuch bhi bolte rehte na? Sort of like that. Okay? This is the content page. Okay? And this is chapter number one. Let's dive in. All right. Huh. We have another 35 minutes to go. Chapter number one, in which a house is built at Poo Corner for Ayori. I want to remind everybody, Ayor or Ayori. Yes, Samaira, kya pronounce karte hai? Eeyore. Eeyore. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so why are we reading this book is to find how sentences are written so the entire entire attention should be given on sentence construction reminding every child here kian anvika everybody no dreaming just be mindful in the next 20 minutes if you are paying attention it's going to help you so much in your school writing that you will thank me later okay now the story begins a your Samaira, correct? Ayur? <laughs> because I have not watched the character. Ayuri bolungi magi class me, okay? Because I love saying it like that. One not day. Enough. It's yes. not. That's what I'm saying, Kiara. I love saying it as Ayuri, okay? You say however it sounds correct to you. One day when Pooh Bear, and since it's a noun, we can say it in any other way. Okay. Okay. One day when Pooh Bear, sorry, one day when Pooh Bear had nothing else to do, he thought he would do something. Someone wrote that this first sentence compound is written. Who wrote it? Why is it written compound? Look, a comma is there. After that, did you see a coordinating conjunction? Did you see Ayantika? Are you sleeping? No. Listen. Someone has said this is a compound sentence. One day when Pooh Bear had nothing else to do, comma, he thought he would do something. Okay? Comma ke baad, I can't see any conjunction. So definitely compound conjunctions to hai nahi. And one day ke baad mein when laga hai. When is a subordinating conjunction, right? So this is a complex sentence. Okay? Great. One day when compound. What I am thinking? The next sentence jo hai na, usme so se add kar diya. So it becomes a compound. Okay. Got it? So you can use both the coordinating and subordinating conjunctions to join the sentences. One day when Pooh Bear had nothing else to do, he thought he would do something. So he went round to Piglet's house to see what Piglet was doing. It was still snowing as he stumped over the white forest. It's winter season. Setting ka description ho raha hai. It's introduction, okay? So, beginning of the story mein, character or setting ka description hota hai. Hmm. It was still snowing as he stumped over the forest track and he expected to find Piglet warming his toes in front of his fire. But to his surprise, he saw that the door was open and the more he looked inside, 
the more piglet was in there. The whole sentence is a compound sentence and there are four sentences which the author has combined and made it into one sentence. Can we simplify the sentences, children? Chale, kare kya? Ayantika Jainarayan? Are you following? Okay. It was still snowing as he stumped over the white forest track. One sentence. Second sentence. He expected to find Piglet warming his toes in front of his fire. Hmm. But to his surprise, ke jage pe likhenge, he saw that the door was open is the third sentence. Fourth sentence, the more he looked inside, the more piglet was in there. Now I have used a lot of conjunctions to jo join the sentences. Okay? Next. Let me change my grid so that I can see other children now. He's out, said Pooh, sadly. Adverb lagana bahut zaruri hota hai. Said ke baad sadly laga di hai hai taki hamara sentence better lage. That's what it is. He's not in. I shall have to go a fast thinking walk by myself. Bra bother. Who is saying this? Yes. Who is saying Mom. this? Yes. But first he thought that he would knock very loudly just to make quite sure. And while he waited for Piglet not to answer, he jumped up and down to keep warm and a hum came suddenly into his head, which seemed to him a good hum, such as is hummed hopefully to others. So hum is a sound of music, right? Right? The more it snows, tiddly pom, the more it goes, tiddly pom, the more it goes on snowing. And nobody knows how could my how cold my toes, how cold my toes are growing. Okay. So what I'll do, said Pooh, is I'll do this. I'll just go home first and see what the time is. Winnie the Pooh. Abhi, I'm not giving anything. Okay. Winnie the Pooh loves to waste his time. Okay. So he doesn't know because he is so idle. He has nothing else to do. So he just loiters here and there. Loiter matlab moving here and there. Theke? So abhi wo kya karega? Definitely pig, listen, listen. Piglet ke ghar mein bhi to ghadi hoti. Mama ka tang kar raha. Okay. Antika, this is a recorded session. Mind it. Mute pe jau. Hmm. Now, um, kids, Piglet would also be having a wall clock, right? Winnie the Pooh would have used his intelligence and common sense and would have seen the time there. But he decided that he will go to his house and he will see him there and then he will do it. Okay, Shivansh, I want you to read. He hurried back. Se. No, no, not here. I'll just go home first. Yes, ma'am. I'll just go home first and see what the time, it, what the time is. And perhaps... I'll put the muffler around my neck and then yeah. I'll go and see the ear and sing it to him. Yeah. Yeah. Back. yeah, yeah, bus, bus. Now see, um, again, he has joined multiple sentences and made one sentence, okay? And what he has done, he has also used a transition word, then, then, T-H-E-N. And then I will go. Okay? So try to use these transition words also. At last, in between, whereas, whatever, etc. He hurried back to his own house and his mind was so busy on the way with the hum that he was getting ready for a year that when he suddenly saw Piglet sitting in his best armchair, he could only stand there rubbing his head and wondering whose house he was in. Hello, Piglet. So, if you watch the animated movie of Piglet, Winnie the Pooh says, sorry, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh always says hello as hello. Very different uh, way of saying hello. Hello, Piglet, he said. I thought you were out. No, said Piglet. It's you who were out, Pooh. So it was, said Pooh. I knew one of us was. He is a dumb fellow. He looked up at his clock which had stopped at 5 minutes to 11, 
some weeks ago, nearly 11 o'clock. Five minutes to 11 is very close to 11 o'clock, right? Said Pooh happily. Again, adverb. How did he say that? Happily. Okay? You are just in time for a little mackerel or something. And he put his head into the cupboard. And then we will go out, Piglet, and sing my song to Ayur. Which song, Pooh? The one we are going to sing to Ayur, explained Pooh. The clock was still saying five minutes to 11 when Pooh and Piglet set out on their half on their way half an hour later because the clock was stuck. There was no battery in it. The wind had dropped and the snow, tired of rushing round in circles, trying to catch itself up. It is an imagery. Okay? It's giving you complete description of the weather. Now fluttered gently down until it found a place on which to rest. And sometimes the place was Pooh's nose and sometimes it wasn't. Okay, since it was very cold and the wind was blowing and it was snowing also. So the snow is definitely going to fall on your body also, right? So it's falling on Pooh's nose. It's also falling on the ground, etc, etc. And in a little while, Piglet was wearing a white muffler round his neck and feeling more snowy behind the ears than he had ever felt before. Pooh, he said at last. Now, now see, children, he was wearing a white muffler. Ka ek aur matlab ye ho sakta hai ki uske muffler mein pure ke pure snow deposit ho gaye hai. And that is the reason why he's feeling very cold behind his neck. Got it? Now, Poo, he said at last, and a little timidly, who can tell me the meaning of timidly? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Uh, not behind his neck. He felt cold behind his ears. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, come. Behind his ears, okay? Now tell me the meaning of timidly. What does timid mean? Ma'am, timid means like... Um... You know, in my classes, generally Shania is quite timid. Ma'am, softly. Shania is timid. Samaira, unmute karke batao. Timid ka matlab? Less. Nahi. If someone is timid, quiet. He is shy. Okay? Okay? So, timid is an adjective. I have put ly in it. So, it's an adverb. Right? So, Means he said at last very shyly. Yeah, he said. So, timidly is describe, describing which verb? Said, right? So, how did he say it? He said it shy. Ho karke bola. Okay? Because he didn't want Pooh to think he was giving in. I was just wondering, how could it be if we went home now and practiced your song and then sang it to Ayur tomorrow or the next day when we happened to see him? That's a very good idea, Piglet said Pooh. Now, they're all, both the friends are alike. They're like birds of the same feather flock together types. Hey na? So, even uh, Piglet is foolish and even Pooh is foolish, right? And I'm not, and I will not say that they're foolish. They are uh, very simple um, with less intellectual ability. They na? are dumb. They are dumb. So, negative word ho jayega, right? If you have to describe someone in a good way and I will come and tell you that, you know, this person is foolish and dumb and this and that, it sounds so bad. Instead of that, how can I positively say it? By saying that he has less intellectual ability. Okay. Matlab, he's less intelligent. Got it? Now, that's a very good idea, Piglet, said Pooh. We'll practice it now as we go along. But it's no good going home to practice it because it's a special outdoor song which has to be sung in the snow. Are you sure? Asked Piglet anxiously. See? The author has used so many adverbs. Hey na? So, someone told me said is dead, but this author, when this author was alive, said was a very new word. And that's why he's always saying said, said, said. Yes, Ayantika? 
but with each said that he is saying he is adding an adverb said happily said timidly and said anxiously anxiously matlab when you are anxious you are worried so shivansh can you give give me an adverb for worried adverb yeah mam very easy shivansh rule ko yaad karo Man. adjective नहीं वेट इट इज शिवानशिस टर्न एडवर्ब बन क्या लगा देते हैं हम सफिक्स कोई भी वर्ड को अगर एडवर्ब में चेंज करना है कोई भी एडजेक्टिव को मैम आई नो वेट 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 यस सो ही सेड वरिड वरिड यस वरिडली ओके वेल यूल सी पिकलेट वेन यू लिसन बिकॉज दिस इज हाउ इट बिगिन The more it sows, the more it snows. Tiddly pom, tiddly what? Said piglet. Pom, said poo. I put that in to make it more hummy. The more it goes, tiddly pom, the more. Didn't you say snows? Yes, but that was before. Before the tiddly pom, it was a different tiddly pom. Said poo, feeling rather muddled now. Now see, did. Do you see how nicely I am saying? है ना एक बार poo is getting irritated, right? Samira, what do you want to say? बोलो. The meaning of muddled is little bit of like confused because something is like mixing. Yes, agree, agree. So that's what is happening now. He is feeling rather muddled now. Muddled is can muddled can be confusing also. It can also be disappointing. सॉरी इरिटेटिंग कि अब ये बहुत मुझे पिगलेट तंग कर रहा है इट कैन बी इरिटेटिंग ऑल्सो राइट आई सिंग इट टू यू प्रॉपरली एंड देन यू विल सी सो ही सैंग इट अगेन द मोर इट्स नो स्टिडली पॉम द मोर इट गोज स्टिडली पॉम द मोर इट गोज स्टिडली पॉम ऑन स्नोइंग एंड नो बडी नो स्टिडली पॉम हाउ कोल्ड माई टो स्टिडली पॉम हाउ कोल्ड माई टो स्टिडली पॉम आर ग्रोइंग Now, if you compare it with the first song that he had sung, this is not what the lyrics were. He has he has again changed the lyrics, है ना? Yes, agree. Every time he's singing, he's changing the words. Lyrics का मतलब words होता है. शिवांश को कुछ तो बोलना है. बताओ शिवांश, आप क्या बात कर रहे हो? मुझे भी बताओ. I'm just singing this song. अच्छा, you're also singing with me. Great. चलो next. He sang it like that, which is much the best way of singing it. And when he had finished, he waited for Piglet to say that, of all the outdoor hums of snowy weather he had ever heard, this was the best. And after thinking the matter out carefully, Piglet, sorry, Piglet said, "Pooh," he said solemnly, "it isn't the toes so much as the ears." What does solemnly mean? Quietly, huh? You know, my teacher was telling me the meaning of solemnly just today in the morning. We had discussed solemn, solemnly, solemnly, sincerely, sincerely. You know, it's like seriously. Solemnly means seriously. Okay, now. Pooh, he said seriously. It isn't the toes so much as the ears. By this time, they were getting near a yours gloomy place. Now, what he is trying to say, the toes, because in the lyrics, Pooh had added toes, and now Piglet wants to add that instead of toes, uh, sorry, toes, ears, dalgo. Okay. Now, by this time, they were getting near a yours gloomy place, which was where he lived, comma, and it was. and as it was still very snowy behind piglet ears see again i told you that the muffler was not white in color but the snow had been deposit right and that is why it was white and he was feeling cold behind his ears and not behind his neck theek hai chalo and as he was getting tired of it they turned into a little pine wood and sat down on the gate which led into it they were out of the snow now but it was very cold and to keep themselves warm they sang poo's song 
right through six times. Piglet doing the tiddly poems and Pooh doing the rest of it. And both of them thumping on the top of the gate with pieces of stick at the proper places. Okay, they were banging, banging. So cute, Samaira Shanaya. Okay, I have... And in a little while, they felt much warmer. Since they were moving their body a lot, when you exercise, you feel warm, right? Same thing happened to these two friends also. <sighs> I've been thinking, said Pooh. And what I've been thinking about is this. I have been thinking about your. What about your? Well, poor your has nowhere to live. Nor he has, said Piglet. You have a house, Piglet, and I have a house, and they are very good houses. And Christopher Robin has a house, and Owl and Kanga and Rabbit have houses, and even Rabbit's friends and relations have houses or some things, but poor Ayur has nothing. So what I've been thinking is, let's build him a house. That, said Piglet, is a grand idea. Where shall we build it? We will build it here, said Pooh. Just by this wood, out of the wind. Because this is where I thought of it. This is where I got the idea of making him a house. So let us do it here. I am not sure if it's going to be a wise decision. But let's see what the story says. <laughs> and we will call this Pooh Corner. And we will build an Ayur house with sticks at Pooh Corner for Ayur. Now we know why the title of the story says. What is the title of the story? The... Corner. Of... Uh, house like... at Pooh Corner. The house at Pooh Corner. Corner. Yeah. So this is exactly what he has told now. Hmm. And we will build an Ayori house with sticks at Pooh Corner for a year. There was a heap of sticks on the other side of the wood, said Piglet. I saw them, lots and lots, all piled up. So wood is also known as forest, right? So you are here. This is the middle of the forest. Wood is on the other side and he's trying to build the house on the other side. Foolish decision, wise decision. Why do you think so, Shivansh? Because they are building it on the other side and the wood is on the other side. So, what will happen? Bolte jo, jisko jo aare. I don't know. They, they, yeah, correct. Everyone, so Shivansh, your idea was good. Now everyone is adding more to that. And definitely it makes sense. Samira also wants to say something. Go ahead. Because the house can blow anytime in a storm and uh, the woods are at the other side. So it would be difficult to carry them. Okay. Now, this is another perspective that you have added, which again makes sense. Firstly, as per Shivansh, wood is on the other side. He's making it on this side. They are such... Uh, small animals, they will have to carry the logs all the way till this place, right? It's such a waste of time and energy. Let's read, okay? Huh. Thank you, Piglet, said Pooh. What you have just said will, will be a great help to us. And because of it, I could call this place Pooh Pan, Pooh Han Piglet Corner if Pooh Corner didn't sound better. Pooh and Piglet Corner, okay? Pooh and Piglet Corner. Which it does, being smaller and more like a corner. Come along. So they got down off the gate and went round to the other side of the foot to fetch the sticks. Correct? Waste of time again. Now, you know, if we have a character description kare na, to compare these two friends, Pooh and Piglet, I would say that Pooh always did what he wanted. And since Piglet never realized, he always said, yes, 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 you are right. Hena? Because Pune, 
Pooh has named the place after him, the Pooh Corner. And then he said, okay, we can call it Pooh and Piglet's Corner. But later he said, nay, nay, we'll keep it as Pooh only. Right? And sometimes we as friends, we might feel offended that, you know, my friend has not used my name in the assignment. But if it would have been Piglet, he would have not minded at all. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Right? We should always share, right? Equal share, equal credit. If you're doing an assignment, you have to give equal credit to your team member. Wow. Yes. I have that one time. What? I have that to me one time. Okay. What he did? Uh, when he went to Dougie Park, we were... Okay, okay. To... Okay. Not here. Not here, baby. We will talk about it later. This is a... Volcano. Uh, I was make, I was making a volcano and he said that I made the best project ever. I made it the most of the work. The credit okay. of. Okay. Next. So they got off the they got down off the gate and went round to the other side of the wood to fetch the sticks. Christopher Robin had spent the morning indoors, going to Africa and back, and he had just got off the boat and was wondering what it was like outside. Now listen, children, as I have told you that this book has been written over hundreds of years ago. Ustama, if you had to travel to different countries, you had to use ships rather than airplanes. Correct? Right? So, Christopher Robin. Now, we don't know. We don't know if they live in America or in United Kingdom. But Christopher Robin has come from Africa. And he has got down from the boat. Okay, so he has used ship as the mode of communication. This particular sentence proves the fact that this story is 100 years old. Okay? You have to always validate your sentences. Okay? So, you text ko utha karke apne answer mein likhoge. Exam ne. Okay, Kian? That, okay? When, who should come knocking at the door but a year? Hello, Ayur, said Christopher Robin. As he opened the door and came out, how are you? It's still snowing. And said Ayur gloomily. Again, he said, said, but he is saying that sadly. So gloomily. Pay attention to the spelling. So it is and freezing. Is it? Yes, said Ayur. However, he said, brightening up a little. We haven't had an earthquake lately. What's the matter, Ayur? Nothing, Christopher Robin. Nothing important. Now, if you have watched the cartoon, which you should, now that I have introduced you to, Ayur is a very sad character. He's always sad. You will never see him cheer cheerful. Got it? And when you watch this movie, you will say, yes, ma'am, actually, Ayur is a sad person. Now, I suppose you haven't seen a house or what not anywhere about. What sort of a house? Just a house who lives there. I do. At least I thought I did. But I suppose I don't. After all, we can't all have houses. But a year, I didn't know. I always thought. I don't know how it is, Christopher Robin. But what with all this snow and one thing and another... Not to mention icicles and such like. It isn't so hot in my field about 3 o'clock in the morning as some people think it is. Okay? Now see, they have definitely joined using but. I can see a lot of but and ands. Okay? Coming to the next sentence. It isn't close if you know what I mean. Not so as to be uncomfortable. It isn't stuffy. In fact, Christopher Robin, he went on in a loud whisper. Quite between ourselves and don't tell anybody, but it's cold. Oh, Ayur. And I said to myself, now who is this? Huh? Try to think. The others will be sorry if I'm getting myself all cold. They haven't got brains. They haven't got brains, any of them. Only grey fluff that's blown into their heads by mistake. And they don't think. But if it goes on snowing for another six weeks or so, 
one of them will begin to say to himself, a yor can't be so very much too hot about three o'clock in the morning. And then it will get about and they will they will feel sorry. Oh, a yor, said Christopher Robin, feeling very sorry already. I don't mean you, Christopher Robin. You are different. Now see, children, a yor has come to Christopher Robin to complain about someone right and if we read it back here this he has said that they haven't got brains okay ayor feels that these people about whom he is complaining to christopher robin are dumb people try to read between the lines samajh mein sab aa raha hai ki yan ko bhi aa raha hai ki actually wo kiska complain karne aaya hai but let's let's read and then we guess ekam are you here in 7 minutes our class is going to get over in 5 minutes okay okay let's um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now I don't mean you, Christopher Robin. You are so different. So what it all comes to is that I built myself a house down by my little wood. Did you really? How exciting! Now the really exciting part, said Ayor, is the is in his most melancholy voice. Now it's a very very interesting word, melancholy. मेलैंकली का मतलब होता है सैड एंड आई ऑलवेज आई हैव कम अक्रॉस दिस वर्ड अ लॉट सो पुट इट इन योर ब्रेन लॉक इट मेलैंकली वॉइस सैडी सैड वॉइस ओके अयोरी इन हिज मोस्ट मेलैंकली वॉइस इज दैट वेन आई लेफ्ट इट दिस मॉर्निंग इट वॉज देयर ओ माई गुडनेस यू नो वट वुड हैलो हाँ उनको फर्स्ट फ्लोर पे भेज दीजिए हाँ हाँ ओके Okay. Ayantika, you 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 can leave. Okay, after this, just give me three minutes. So listen, hey. children. Listen, children. Mommy, I leave. Yeah, yeah. You can leave, but I want. I'm explaining something important. We will be on this page only. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. He want. This is a very important. It's a climax. I would say, huh? It's an interesting part. The really exciting part, said Ayor in his most sad voice, is that you know when I left it this morning, it was there. His house was there, but foolish piglet and Pooh must have done something. Try to link. Kya kia hoga usme? But when I came back, it wasn't there. Not at all. Very natural, and it was only Ayor's house. But still, I just wondered. Christopher Robin didn't stop to wonder. He was already back in his house, putting on his waterproof hat, his waterproof boots, and his waterproof Macintosh as fast as he could. He wants to go with Ayor to see what exactly has happened. Since he is going outdoors and it's snowing, so you have to wear proper gears, है ना? Proper कपड़े. So now, what I have interpreted, हाँ बोलो. They took, I think, so they took the stick that was there that was. Yeah, I also I also think the same. So when Pooh was giving that idea to Piglet that on the other side of the forest there were piles of wood, remember? They forgot that it must have been a yours house. Now they are breaking that and they are rebuilding it on the other side of the on the other side of the forest. He is so funny, and that's why Ayori said that these animals they don't have brains and. <laughs> such a wonderful hilarious story i'm leaving it here because i want you to read it on your own okay uh -huh. okay buy the book finish the book it's not difficult do you think the language is difficult or you can understand mom we can understand we need to read bye, two times but you will understand it bye bye antika i i want to talk to your friends you you go because sir is waiting for you okay bye Mom, 